you'd be forgiven for thinking this was part of a plant. But it actually is the tail of an alien-looking creature living in freshwater environments like ponds, lakes and streams all over the world. Scanning the sediment for movement with antennae pointed to the ground, it can stay completely motionless. At about two centimeters total length, this individual here might perceive the single-celled organisms and rotifers moving around it like you and I would perceive a bumblebee or a bug. This tiny predator is laying in wait for something to stir in the sediment. But don't let the small size fool you. This damselfly nymph is a voracious killer with mouth parts rivaling those of the monsters in any science fiction or horror story. If it has detected something, it slowly maneuvers into position. When it gets close enough, the mouth parts fold out in a split second and strike forward to pierce the target with needle-sharp pincers. This feeding apparatus is called a mask and serves for capturing prey. It contains several big muscles we can see stretching and contracting here after a rare, unsuccessful attack. The attack happens so fast that even slowed down five times, we can barely make out what is happening. The nymph's prey consists predominantly of other insect larvae, and when it captures something like this coronamid midge larva, it doesn't waste any time and gets right to feeding. It also can capture prey that is much more mobile, like these mosquito larvae. Those can obviously be a handful. As soon as the worst thrashing ends, they're eaten alive. But it doesn't stop there. Bigger midge larvae are also on the menu. It is not the damsel that is in distress here. The leaf-shaped structures on the tail that we saw in the beginning are actually gills. The nymph is wagging its tail to take up more oxygen, meeting the increased demand in times of activity like this. When the meal is finished, any dirt and other remains are removed from the mouth parts. And as soon as that's done, it goes back to stalking. 